What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm beyond excited to share a brand new library with you from Musical Sampling called Parker Oboe. So in my opinion, Musical Sampling has really been hitting it out of the park recently. Great job, Aaron, Sap, and team for creating such beautiful libraries that do one thing very, very well with specific instruments and creating them at relatively affordable price points as well. So Parker Oboe, uh, is an oboe library, legato, uh, uh, legato oboe library, sorry, played by Professor Parker. And uh, Andrew Parker is his name there. And so here's just a quick look at the page. $49, uh, 79 starting April 30th. We have four different patches, workhorse, fat lead, emotional, and delicate. And you can probably guess the different approaches that the performer took uh, for each of these patches. Um, Legato Oboe performed with natural progressive vibrato, tuned and untuned variations like with most of his other libraries, recorded close for mi mixing flexibility, which is always a cool thing to do, um, especially if you want like drier libraries, and then add your reverb on top of that. That's easier to do than to remove reverb from an existing library. And then you can adjust your own reverb as well from a custom hall impulse that's usually included within these libraries as well. Uh, pretty small as well, four gigabytes, you know, so if you have some extra space on your drive, it definitely can hold it as well. And then this is just a little bit about the library, but what I want to kind of show you here is the manual. So the, for each of the four patches, Arian kind of describes them a little bit differently here. So for the first two, the workhorse and the fat lead patches, where the performances are a little bit more on the louder side, more in the bolder side, the lower velocities, 1 to 30, will play a softer attack. 31 to 114 is a more excited attack, so a more immediate attack with round robins, which is cool. And then 115 to 127, so the very top layer or top velocity will give you immediate vibrato once that attack happens. So pretty cool. So two different types of attacks, and then the highest velocity will give you immediate vibrato with that high attack as well. Strong attack, I should say. And then for the delicate and emotional patches, playing legato at lower velocities will trigger the subsequent notes with progressive vibrato, so the vibrato doesn't come in right away. Whereas if you play 90 to 127 in terms of velocity, so you play harder, then the performances or the next notes will have more immediate vibrato. So it gives you more control over your line, and the vibrato makes sense, right? Depending on the phrasing of your music. And that's basically uh, the, the four lead patches there, or the four main patches, and then we have a breaths patch, which is always a nice cool thing to have if you want to make your performances a bit more realistic. All right, so with that being said, let's kind of dive into the library. As usual, it is not a contact player library, so you would need the full version of contact. And here I've pulled up all the patches. Very simple um, folder structure, so we have the four patches here. And then we have the breaths and the untuned patches, which are basically the same thing as the main four, but just untuned. So let's hear the legato workhorse first. And when I think of the workhorse patches, they're usually great for legato and short notes as well. So you don't have to really key switch anything. So let's have a quick playthrough of the workhorse patch. All right, so one thing to keep in mind here is that the performances are non-looped. And I initially thought the sustains were looped because um, Andrew Parker held the notes for so long, but when he came off the note really naturally, I was like, wow, he, um, he was able to hold that note for quite a long time. So it gives you a lot of flexibility, obviously. If you want to have that last note of a phrase really carry on, then all you have to do is just hold down that note and um, if you want to hold it indefinitely, that, that won't be possible unless you do some audio manipulation. Um, but just so you know, the, the sustains are non-looped. So really nice. Um, again, the most agile patch, sort of the most general purpose sort of patch you'll get in, in his libraries, here in the libraries. Then we have the fat lead patch, which naturally has a more bold approach. So a higher dynamic and a lot thicker of a sound.
And again, that's me holding that very last note there the entire time until the sustain came to a natural ending. All right. So beautiful sounding patch there as well. Let's move on to my two favorite patches, the emotional and the delicate. And the oboe really still is my favorite woodwind instrument because of the softer nature of the sound. It can be so lyrical, so beautiful. And um, I really like the, the more restrained um, vocal sort of texture that you get from these softer performances. So I believe this one is more of an MP sort of like mezzo piano, mezzo forte at the very most approach. And then the delicate is more of a piano sort of approach. So let's have a listen to the emotional patch here. Beautiful sound, right? And let's quickly test out the legato velocities here. So if I play a note followed by soft velocity, you hear how the subsequent note comes in with progressive vibrato. It doesn't come in right away, but let's try this with a higher velocity on the second note. Right, you can tell the vibrato there is a lot more immediate. So that's kind of the, the flexibility we have there with the phrasing, which is cool. Um, vibrato being controllable to some degree is a really cool thing to have, especially when it takes up a lower footprint. And that's kind of a staple of all of Aaron's libraries is that they're so focused on specific instruments and specific approaches that even though you have multiple patches, they don't take up very much um, you know, resource uh, energy in your, in your uh, computer. All right, let's move on to the final tonal patch here, which is the delicate patch. Beautiful sound, right? So yeah, the emotional patch probably would be my go-to for most lyrical lines, but if I'm going for something that has a more exposed arrangement, something that doesn't have very many instruments, then the delicate patch with maybe a piano accompaniment would be a really solid choice for a lot of my style of writing. All right, then we have the last patch here, which is the breasts. We have three, uh, three types of breasts here, shorts, medium, and longs at the top. And just so you know, by the way, the range for this instrument Starts from the B flat below middle C, all the way up to the high E. Okay, so it's like a little bit more than two octaves, basically two and a half octaves, which is pretty pretty good for the instrument, right? Good practical range. All right, so let's have a listen to these breaths here. And there we go. I also really like how each of the breaths ends with a click. Like you could hear the key sound at the very end as the breath is cut off. So that really makes sense, right? If you're putting a breath sound that ends with a click and then you're starting your line with a sustain, then it sounds like, you know, the, the performance is actually playing that note from the real instrument. Cause that, that key sound, that pressing of the keys is what will activate the you know, the note when the performer blows into the instrument, right? So it's, it's a cool little touch there. I really like that. 
And that's it. That's pretty much uh, this library. And um, yeah, Aaron was very kind to provide a copy as well for a giveaway. So as usual, there are the three standard rules. Number one is to fill out the form below in the description box so you can enter your information into the system and uh, you know have a chance to win this library. Uh, number two is to leave a comment underneath this video letting me know what you would use this library for. It's always fun to read, very entertaining, and it's really cool to see all the various styles of music that people come up with using these sample libraries. So please leave, leave a comment as well letting me know what you want this library for. And third and finally, simply leave a like on the video. It always helps and is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you again, Aaron, for sharing a copy with me and with you as well. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you very soon. Take care.